Gertsevin, who is from Istanbul, Turkey, a couple of years at North Carolina State, a couple of years at Georgetown, last year in the G League, and now a rookie with the Miami Heat. But take us back to the beginning. How did your basketball journey start, Omer? Uh, when I was around 11, 12, uh, my dad just like kind of threw me in as a hobby, threw me into it. And once I picked it up around 15 fully, it was like uh, a part of my life I, you know, I couldn't let go. First couple of years at North Carolina State, then Omer transferred to Georgetown. You got to play for Hall of Fame center Patrick Ewing. What was that experience like for you, playing at Georgetown and playing for Coach Ewing? I mean, both are you know great honors, especially learning, being able to learn from Coach Ewing was the main reason I went there. I transferred from uh, NC State, and um, it was a great experience. And as I said, I, I was just a student of Ewing. Omer had a great year in the G League last year with the Oklahoma City Blue. Was so impressive in Summer League this year for Miami. You got yourself a contract. What's this season been like being a part of the culture, being in the locker room with, with these coaches and these teammates? It's been a lot of growth and a lot of learning. And all I do is, you know, stay malleable and come in with open hands and absorb everything I can. And you know, it's been a growth, growth curve. And just trying to, you know, as I said, just grow a, a, every game, each and every game, and being in that fire, especially um, when we have to win games and I have to give productive minutes, has been really incredibly helpful. And we saw that just the other night in Philadelphia. Omer played some very meaningful minutes, and it was physical against Embiid and against Andre Drummond. What was that game like for you? Like you said, it was really physical, but, you know, we knew the assignment. I knew the assignment, and as a, as a team, we did, and we knew we, they wanted to go to Embiid. And um, on the other end, I just had to, you know, punish them as much as possible. This team is looking so special. When healthy, Miami looks like a championship contender. Right now, not healthy, but the toughness and the, uh, the, the, the intensity. What, what is a win at Philadelphia the other night? What, what does that tell the world about the, the, the toughness and the depth of this Heat team? Uh, you know, that we have guys that can step up. You know, that night it took Gabe to, uh, you know, step off offensively and make it, make some big plays, um, especially that last shot at the end. But, you know, nobody mentions that missed tip, but he was the one that tipped it out. And, uh, you know, it took everybody's effort. It was a collective effort, and, you know, it was more, I guess, enjoyable that way, too. And the final question for Omer Yurtsev, and as your minutes and your confidence grows, what do you see ahead for, for you in your NBA career? I'm just taking it day by day. I don't really, you know, try to look into the future too much. Um, day by day, you know, we play Orlando today, and we just, you know, I just learn. I just rewatch the game from Philly. So I'm locked in on the Orlando game, and I'm going to try to, you know, incorporate what we kind of took away from the Philly game. Well, know this. All of Heat Nation is enjoying your journey with you, and best of luck tonight and through your rookie season. Thank you. Omer Yurtsevin with us here in Orlando. Now let's go back to Will Manso.